Nigerian Supreme Court judge dies at 69. United ends Man City's winning streak in surprise debut win at Etihad. Texas and Mississippi workers feel vulnerable due to the new Max mandate. Amanda Goldman shares distressing racism experience. Three men who were jailed wrongly have been freed after 25 years. Hollywood actor Patrick Adams backs former co-star Meghan Marco. Central Bank of Nigeria introduces new scheme for diaspora remittances. Benzema fit to face Atletico on Sunday. Apes gets COVID-19 vaccines in San Diego Zoo. Kim Kardashian relates with Britney Spears' documentary. Zanzibar tourists warned against indecent dressing. Human rights lawyer Femi Falana denies buying any property from EFCC. Panic as petrol tanker explodes in Ogun State. President Buhari and Osi Banjo gets COVID-19 vaccines publicly. Army officers supplying bandits with ammunition and uniforms have been arrested in Zamfara State. Welcome to LDE News Recap. I'm your host, Chivera. Justice Sylvester Mwali Nguta, a judge of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, has passed on. The justice died in the early hours of Sunday, March 7th, after a brief illness that is yet to be determined. Sadly, the senior judge would have clocked 70 on March 30th and retired from his career on the same day. Manchester City's winning streak has been ended by rival Manchester United as they pulled a surprise 0-2 win at the Etihad Stadium on Sunday evening. With goals from Bruno Fernandes and Luke Shaw, Manchester United continues their outstanding away performance record in the Premier League, being unbeaten in all their 15 away matches this season. Several retail workers in the states of Texas and Mississippi have admitted to feeling a new sense of vulnerability as their respective states move to ease coronavirus restrictions and return back to normal. Several of these workers say they have considered quitting their jobs as many of them worked through the lockdowns in 2020 and watched their co-workers get sick from the virus and die. Black iconic poet and inauguration breakout star Amanda Goman recently took to Twitter to share a distressing racial experience, calling it the reality of black girls. The 22-year-old poet who recently signed a modeling contract with the acclaimed IMG models and is due to publish three books says she was followed home and questioned after being dubbed suspicious. Three men who were convicted almost 25 years ago for killing an off-duty officer and an entrepreneur have been released. They gained freedom after a judge reanalyzed the evidence stacked up against them and declared that their convictions was unfair and wrong. Hollywood actor Patrick Adams, the star of the popular TV series Suits, is standing tall and formidable behind his friend and former co-star Meghan Markle. In a series of tweets, Patrick Adams has stood behind Meghan Markle after her recent bullying controversy. In previous weeks, the Duke and Duchess of Success have faced immense heat and criticism from the press because they decided to give Oprah Winfrey a detailed bombshell interview that would reveal why they left the monarchy. The Central Bank of Nigeria has introduced a new initiative termed CBN Naira for Dollar Scheme. The initiative is geared at the sustainability of the diaspora remittances and was announced via a circular that made rounds to banks and international money transfer operators. Real Madrid powerhouse player Karim Benzema is now reportedly fit to play with his team at the Sunday's game with Atletico Madrid. Benzema has been absent at the last three games due to a groin injury he has been nursing and according to coach Zidane, he would be joining the match against Atletico Madrid. The San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance made arrangements for vaccines and later announced that four orangutans and five bonobos had received two doses of COVID-19 vaccines. As at early January, zookeepers detected that eight gorillas had tested positive for the California variant of the coronavirus after tests of their fictile matter came back positive. It was also discovered that an asymptomatic keeper had unknowingly exposed them to the virus. Popular reality TV star Kim Kardashian resonates deeply with the documentary of hugely famous songstress Britney Spears. Kim Kardashian took to Instagram after viewing the documentary titled Framing Britney Spears that detailed Britney's controversial and incredibly scrutinized career and revealed that she felt a lot of empathy for her. Tourists visiting the Tanzanian archipelago off the coast of East Africa, Zanzibar, have been cautioned on public nudity. The government has warned against disregarding this order as blatant disobedience or indifference could result in steep fines for operators and guides. 
Renowned human rights lawyer Femi Falana has addressed reports making rounds that he bought a high-priced property from the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Femi Falana clearly stated that he didn't purchase any property from the commission and the false story was concocted by the federal government to bring his historic name to disrepute. The duo of President Mohamed Buhari and Vice President Yemi Osimbajo have both received doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine in front of the cameras. Their vaccination was broadcast live on television on Saturday morning, 6th March, from the presidential villa in Abuja. Deputy Chief of Staff to Zanfara State, Bashir Amaru, said the military has arrested the officer supplying bandits with ammunition, uniforms and other logistics alongside his girlfriend following community-driven intelligence. He said this on Friday while addressing a press conference in Damaturu, the Zanfara State capital. It's been LDE News Recap. Don't forget to follow our social media pages for more updates. Thank you for watching and bye for now.